Hello guys. <coughs> In this session, we will focus on the creation the free bed diagram with the static analysis. And so, <coughs> in the first place, we should create the graphical representation of this car model with the shape of car. And so, the graphical representation. is given by what and so the shape is to on the plane like this one and so we have a wheel in here we have a wheel in here and then we have the car body in here okay This are car body. Sorry about the shape, but I can correct it. Okay. And so, <coughs> in order to create a static analysis, we should define the specific shape of this object. And so, we have the center of gravity in here, like this one. And so, we have the mg force due to gravity. Okay. M is the mass of the car and so we should analyze it because the reaction force directly related to the what to these things and so this is the half wheel B F wheel front <coughs> and so if our body is going to forward and so the F F should be included in here FF should be included also in here, but in our model, the wheel 1 and wheel 2 is the same. And so we can collect the whole the friction factor to moving to the x direction can be represented by the one force value in here. Okay? And so the specific shape can be given by what? Why this one? The force is applied on this position and so this is the lb length of the back to the center of gravity and so this is the, the lf the length of the, the center of gravity to the front wheel because the this two position is the force reaction points okay and so we have a car like this one and so the center of gravity should be analyzed by the LH value in here because there are two motion in here one comes from the translational motion of these things at the y direction x direction okay but we have the rotational motion since uh, we have or we apply the braking mechanism on this car and so this car is a torsional moment on the z plane okay or we can move faster or we can apply the acceleration of these things and so this car shape is changed with the acceleration ratio and so the center of gravity is not oriented with the wheel axis because the LH is given in here and so there is a specific moment occurs on this plane okay <coughs> this is our general shape of our car model and so in order to calculate the whole the <coughs> these things and so we need to create the static analysis free body diagram fbd is given by what given by a one long <coughs> road <coughs> but in this position all the forces 
like this one the center of gravity is in here mg and so we have the f v bill and in here f wheel front and so if we have this kind of information and additionally we should add the length parameters in here like this one lb and this one is lf and so we can build the reaction forces on this plane okay reaction forces is used to eliminate the suspension ratio or the deflection and so this is our input to the suspension system design in the car dynamics because uh, we <coughs> and that is why we need to obtain the reaction forces in that car okay and so the total force balance can be written by what or how the total forces are like this one if we have the <coughs> force value in the y-axis which is given by in this direction it should be equal to the what the mg minus f w b minus f w f in this position and so if you have a moment value on the front wheel just like that and so we can create a dynamics or the static analysis because the FWB times LB plus LF because this force is applied on this position and so the total length the LB plus LF and the MG was given in here and so MG times lf should be equal to the zero okay this is our general notation and then we can build up this equation because the mg is equal to the what f w p plus f w f and so mg also equal to the what equal to the, this one f w p is equal to the m times g times lf divided by lb plus lf okay this is our general notation in here and this comes from the <coughs> second equation okay and so <coughs> if we have the fwb value wheel back and so we can put this equation into the first equation and then f wheel front is equal to the what n times g times 1 minus lf divided by lf plus lb okay this is our general notation of our model suppose that the, if the lb equal to the l1 or lf and so f w f equal to the f w b comes from the statics but you can choose the different l f and l b value in here to design a car dynamics okay and so we have two equation in here in order to apply the suspension system model design okay this is our first static analysis it comes from the car body and it's free body diagram and so we can move to what the dynamic analysis because it's on the static and so if we have the move the car dynamics in here like this one and so if we accelerate in the x direction position and so this shape like this one okay but in the real life you cannot be observe these things because the suspension system eliminates this factor but in the realistic modeling techniques the this center of gravity comes with a theta value 
in the deflection of what a deflection of the z direction okay and so if you are have a break in here and then this car like this one this is an excess parameters but it's true it's uh, acceleration it's braking okay in this condition and so as we are an engineer and then we need to obtain the f wheel back and f wheel forward value front value and so if we have this kind of information in here and then we can move to what the dynamic analysis of the this car because the theta value or the deflection rate of these wheel bodies comes with these forces because the suspension system only generates uh, the force to eliminate to remove to what the force will and force will back value in the next lesson we will discuss about the dynamic analysis of this car and so the moment value should be included in this direction okay